Hello everyone, are you looking to download the Windows 11 24H2? Well, actually so far Microsoft has not released the Windows 11 24H2. It will be released soon in the October or maybe September of 2024. So we have a few months remaining to that however users are currently testing it inside their computers or mostly inside the virtual machine thanks to the microsoft insider program so as you can see microsoft has uh, these programs windows canary channel dev channel beta channel and then release preview channel so far these are the four uh, channels that uh, as long as you have a microsoft account you can just log in and then go ahead download the windows 11 iso so firstly let's understand what are the most differences between the windows canary channel dev and other uh, insider channels that you can see so i have created this table uh, you can have a look here so firstly if you take a look in the canary uh, about the stability it is most unstable because uh, most frequently microsoft is going to release uh, new features and then they are going to be tested with the unless if you are a highly technical user who is comfortable with the instability and potential data loss now the build number starts with uh, 25,000 however the dev channel is also unstable and releases new feature before beta might have issues obviously this has issue even the uh, beta version has issues now tech enthusiasts are comfortable with some bugs and willing to even provide backup and then they build a start from the 24,000 as you can see I have mentioned that here however the beta version is more stable and uh, features are more truly tested than the developer mode and then the compared to the uh, canary channel now early adapters who want to experience upcoming features with moderate stability are those people who are using the beta and then the build starts with 22,000. and finally there is the release preview channel which is highly stable and it is uh, close to the public release uh, we are people are receiving upcoming features and bug fixes also users these are targeted for users who want a stable experience with the upcoming features and bugs before the public release of the windows 11 these are the main differences of these channels however if you are looking into downloading the windows 11 24 h2 you have to either use the either of these three channels so as you can see so far the uh, 24h2 is not available in the public release so for now uh, in order to download it you have to uh, go ahead and search the windows insider program on google or you have to simply visit microsoft and from here you have to simply click the very first option and now you have to go ahead and scroll down oh by the way make sure that you have uh, a microsoft account and you and you are already logged in so this is the latest version of the uh, Microsoft Insider program beta built 22,621. So you can always go ahead and use any of these. However, I will be using the beta. Now click confirm. From here, you have to select a language, in my case, United States, and now confirm. Followed by that, simply click on 64 volt download and uh, after that it's going to start downloading the iso of the windows 11 this is as much as simple now you can after the after the, the download completes you can uh, perform a clean installation inside your computer or inside a virtual machine however my recommendation is that you have to install it inside the virtual machine since they are all of them unstable and mostly you may lose data if you tried installing inside um, using it inside your main computer that is not a good idea so this is how you can download the most recent version of the windows 11 also you uudump.net is the other website from where you can download the windows uh, developer program uh, or even the stable version of the windows from here so you can see it is available for the windows 11 windows server and windows 10 everything is good to go now the process to download uh, is quite a bit uh, different compared to the iso that you are downloading from the microsoft store sorry from microsoft uh, website directly uh, in this method you are going to download the windows uh, using the cmd so 
so as you can see from here you are going to select the version and after that you have you are going to click next and you are going to download or the package following that you are going to run that package inside your computer and then it's going to start downloading the eyes of windows using the cmd that's why i am not recommending the uudump.net instead of it i am directly recommending to you that go ahead and download the windows 11 directly from microsoft servers that are more secure and if you are using any download manager like me microsoft like microsoft website has the ability to resume it however uudump.net does not have the ability to resume it so i hope this video should help you for now have a nice day goodbye and i'll meet you guys in the next video